I want to say a very big thank you to everyone here that has labored with my brother, Apostle Odame. For all of you that keep laboring, I just want to say this, that when a man is a visionary, it becomes difficult to please such a man. In case you are working with him and you keep saying, why doesn't he understand me? Don't worry, it's the vision that is powering what he's doing. Leaders who know what they see that you cannot see are difficult to please. Don't forget, leaders who know what they see that you cannot see are difficult to please. Because the moment you say, we've gotten it, he will tell you, ah, no, stop dancing. We are still 10 kilometers far or ahead. So you become discouraged. Praise the Lord. But the Lord will continue to strengthen all of you. All the board, the board people here who are I don't know how the structure is, but I want to believe that you have council members that you talk with, and sometimes you will have to disagree to, dis um, to agree. I just want to strengthen your faith that you keep working. Don't give up. Don't drop the ball. Don't throw the towel. You just continue. Um, the Lord is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So the Lord will strengthen all the leaders in this house. And what more do I say? I want to say a very big thank you to all the workers. The workforce is the force that strengthens the work. It takes a force of people to come together to forge. That's the forge again, you know, the forge. To, to forge um, an artillery that will expand the frontiers of the gospel. So my prayer for you all as workers is none of you will drop. You will all grow together to tell the story in the days to come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, all the men that you have given to me have I kept. I lost none except the son of perdition. There shall be no son of perdition in this place. In the name of Jesus. I look to the days where we will have elders. Where we have, you know, in Africa, there is a silent thing that is going on now. But we will change the narrative in the name of Jesus Christ. So please, can you put your hands together for yourselves again? Now you may be seated in Christ Jesus, and the Lord will continue to bless you. You know, while Reverend Philip was speaking, I was saying, Lord, give me an entrance into what I should say. Um, most of the time, when I come for meetings and there are people who speak ahead, I, I just prefer to continue from where they stop. I pick it from there because we are an apostolic house, and in building a house, you build deliberately, you build intentionally. You build with an outcome in mind. So I have an outcome in my mind. I have three outcomes in my spirit this morning. That by the time we are done with this meeting, these two days that we have to be together, that the hand of the Lord will come upon you afresh. And that the dreams of God in your inside, the dreams of God in your inside, number two, we bubble out, we find expression. And then number three, you will muster the strength to pursue the things that God has revealed to you. Amen? You will muster the strength. You will find strength to pursue the things that God has said to you. So, um, then Reverend Odame came up when Reverend Philip was talking. He went on the issue of the tangent of the fruit. I said, okay, that's it. I'm going to go on that tangent. Then when Odame came up, he also spoke about mm, a day is going to come that the remnant who have escaped the question is, what are they escaping? What should they escape? Why will the Lord use the word escape? I'll come to that. All right? That they will bear what? Fruit. They will bear roots downward. And then they will bear what? Fruit upward. Somebody say upward. That upward is God word. All right? It's, it's, you are attaining into stature. You are attaining into, into levels and layers of growth in Christ Jesus. So your growth is not supposed to be stunted. Your growth is not supposed to be um, fixated. Your growth is supposed to be dynamic, all right? It's like you are increasing in capacity. You are increasing in strength. There is a place where growth is not a disease.
place where growth becomes a disease. All right? God said to me some time when I was praying, he said, son, being fat in the spirit is not obesity. Did you get that? Being fat in the spirit is not a curse word. You know, there's what we call curse word. So he said, being fat in the spirit is not obesity. In fact, you cannot afford not to be fat in the spirit. Because if you are not fat in the spirit, you will be at the enemy's mercy. So you need to keep going fat in the spirit. Let me tell your neighbor, go big. And go very big. Until you are busting. Yes. Go big in the spirit. Go very big in the spirit. Obesity in the spirit is not a disease. Obesity in the spirit is authority. Being fat in the spirit means that you are a man and a woman of authority. Praise the Lord. So, so this morning, let us start from, um, let me just lay foundations and then we can pray. Okay? I, I, I sense somebody that is in here that needs direction. Now, the Lord will give you that direction. Yeah. All right? There's somebody, you see, there is somebody in the choir that is just you. Let me not start from there. Well, uh, there's somebody in the choir, you are very much discouraged. In fact, you came into church today, you just decided to come, you are questioning God. Program again. You are very discouraged. Help me with the keyboard. You're, you're very, very discouraged. But if I say to you that there is a future ahead of you, and you are about to drop the ball when it matters, you will not believe. You will think it's another exaltation that I'm giving you. But myself and you and God will compare notes in three weeks' time. Because there's going to be a change in your life. Literally, God is going to bring an upgrade to your life. I don't know who I'm talking to. You are in the choir. Okay? And I don't want to know who the person is. I'm not ready to say you. Come out. But the Lord is going to show you that he loves you. And the Lord is going to show you that the labors you have put in, in fellowshipping and relating with him, is not in vain. And number three, he's going to let you know that he has not called you to seek him in vain. He's going to strengthen you and he's going to come through for you. Uh, many of us who are confused are trusting God and are believing God for supernatural intervention. You will receive that intervention this week. Amen. Mm, can, you, can you just, can you just muster on t- in tongues where you are now? Can you just muster in tongues? Ah, shibos, abena, aprendas. Just must in tongues. That, that the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will grant you clarity. It's, it's a common place. It's a common place. That the confusion be rolled away. The Holy Ghost will take away that confusion. He will take it away. 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 Keeper, light in the darkness. I know that is who you gently, slowly. Help me, help me.
just whispered to my heart now Reverend Shala he said I want to help my people tell them to ask me for help I want to help my people there is a young lady here your mom is in a financial mess to be precise your mother and you are aware of this case if this place were to be big I would have said you should come but I don't want the people to know who the person is. But that's one of the persons that God is helping. And number two, I saw an admission from University of Ghana. Write what I'm saying down. Admission letter from University of Ghana. There's somebody here that will secure an admission into that university. You may not know how to pay the bills. Uh, because hear me and hear me well. Your desire to go there, the Lord has opened that door. You are having terrific academic challenges right now. You don't look like it. But I just saw an admission granted and I saw the letter from the University of Ghana. That's your first, the first university in this country is what I'm talking about. You will enter. You will, you will finish. You will finish. So I want you to pray for help. Pray for your neighbor. Pray for that person that you are holding. The Lord, I agree with my brother. I agree with my sister. Send help from your sanctuary. Send help from your sanctuary. We come to you. We look to you for help. You are good. You are kind. I don't, I don't think you know the song. You are good. You are kind. You are God. I'm just not an ordinary man. Say you see, say I need your help. You are good. You are kind. You are God. And I'm just a man. Say you see, say. I need your help. Say you see, say I need your help. <laughs> say you see, say we need your help. You are God. I'm just an ordinary man. Jesus. Say you see, say we need your help. We need your help. We need your help. Say you see, see. We need your help. You are God. I'm just a mortal man. You are king, I'm just your boy. You are God. Say you see, see, we need your help. <laughs> we need your help. I need your help. Say you see, see, we need your help. You are good, you are kind. 
That's why we've come to look to you for help. You are God. I'm just an ordinary man. <laughs> she, you see, say, I need your help. She, you see, say, I need your help. She, you see, say, I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. She, you see, see, we need your help. I want to go prophetic now. RC and Ghana, we need your help. Help, Lord. RC and Ghana, you need his help. We need your help. Say you see, say we need your help. You are good, you are kind. That's why we've come to you to look for help. You are God. We are just ordinary men. <laughs> she, you see, see, we need your help. We can speak. Yes, we can chant. We can run. And we can leap over the wall. You are God. We are just ordinary men. Say you see, see, we need your help. Say you see, say, we need your help. Say you see, say, we need your help. Say you see, say, we need your help. Say you see, say. We need your help. We need your help. We need your help. help Lord. We need your help. We are in the stage where we want to build in Ghana. Except the Lord built a house, he that builds, build in vain. We will build not by the strategy of man, but by the help of the Holy Ghost. I bring you a prophetic word that the Lord will help you as you go on your journey to build. As you build man, and you build him a center where he can find a landing spot. I bring Ghana and see and the word of the Lord that you are in the season of help. It's a season of help. It's a season of help. It's a season of help. If you need to cry, cry. Feel free. It is for you that the Holy Ghost is singing that song. It is for you. Tell him how bad you need that help from him. We need over, we need close to $500,000, if not more. Tell him you need him to help you. Let him know you are vulnerable before him. Let him know that only him can help right now. I don't know where. I don't know where the interventions will come. But I bring you a song of the spirit. A song that came in the seasons. Where we were vulnerable and praying. That was when the Lord spoke the songs to us. You are good. You are kind. 
that's why I've come to you to look for help <laughs> you are God I'm just a new dirty man Hey, you see, say, I need your help. Uh, Jesus, share you see, say, I need your help. Master, share you see, say, I need your help. Share you see, say, I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. Sure, you see, sir. I need your help. You are good. You are kind. You are God, I'm just a mortal man. You are king, and I'm just your boy. Say, you see, say, I need your help. I need your help. help. I need your help. We need your help. She, you see, say, we need your help. We need your help. Let help come from your sanctuary. Oh, there will be loads of testimony from this session. There will be loads of testimony. There is a young lady. The Lord just delivered you from masturbation. Now, now. It will never come back again. It will never. You, you, you are crying to him for help. You will never find that experience in your life anymore. I need your help. I need your help. Je you see, say, I need your help. You are good, you are good, you are kind. That is why I've come to you to look for help. You are God. I'm just an ordinary man. She, you see, say, I need your help. Gifty. Some people go to Babalawo to look for help. They travel there. But we said, She, you see, say, I need your help. Why? Because you are God. I'm just an ordinary man. Why? Because you are good. You are kind. Say you see, say we need your help. Jesus. Say you see, say I need your help. Odame, you need help to rule God's people. Shall you see, say, I need your help. You must receive help to lead. Shall you see, say, I need your help. Shall you see, say, we need your help. Come on, ask him for help. The next phase of RC and Ghana is critical. You'll be able to pivot by help. My God, the next phase, you need strategic help, and that you need quickly. I need your help. 
shall you see say I need your help 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 Shall you see, say, I need your help. Shall you see, say, I need your help. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. We were in a retreat, myself, Reverend Gideon, and some of my spiritual sons. And we went to pray and to trust God for direction because every year I lock my children together, my spiritual children. The ones that I know that are my kids spiritually, I lock them up. And we pray together for three days or four days. We fast, dry fasting. And I begin to impact them. And we just said, we sense that the Lord is giving us a song. I can't pick it, but one of you will pick it. So I'm giving credit to the owner of the song. And my son, Pastor Okpe Olua, the pastor of our Magodo church, started crying. As he was crying, he started singing. You are God. You are not an ordinary man. She you see, say, we need your help. Gideon, myself, all of us started crying. You are God. You are God. You are king. Yes, you are king. She you see, say, we need your help. It was very clear to us that the following year was going to be the year of help. Because that's how I travel. I travel by songs. So that year, God didn't allow me to receive the song. It came from every year. This year, I received five songs that define our journey as a ministry. If you watch RCN lately, you will hear those songs there. But you will never know that we don't do that. But since I'm public here, I needed to give honor to whom that song came through. And that was how we glided. And as I'm here, the only thing the Holy Ghost is still troubling me about is, you know, I have a few minutes I will teach tomorrow. There are some of you that what you need God now, now, what you need from him is help. You need divine help. You need divine help. He said, I want to help somebody. Tell them to ask me for help. Sir, on blue, the man over there on blue, come. Ah, you are turning. You want me to give it to somebody else? Are you not wearing blue? The Lord said he's going to help you. He said he's bringing a turn around around your life. And I don't know what it is, but your health is caused to question. And the Lord is going to... You see, you may not know what I'm talking about now. But your health is being called to question. But God will bring perfection on your health. In the days to come, whatever it is, heaven has gone ahead and you will experience God's help in every aspect of your life God is bringing you into a new threshold of his help you will you will hear it you will see it you will you will you will shout because God is about to help and out of his help listen to me there will be fresh testimonies coming out of you there will be fresh. You have longed for testimonies. You have longed for it. You have longed for it. That when will I testify? I hear the Lord say I should say to you. Is rolling away the garment of pain. The pain of many years. Years that you couldn't explain. And is bringing in fresh garments. The garment of testimonies. 
that's the next season that he's bringing you into he said i am the lord your god i will help you i am the lord your god i will fight for you hold your peace hold your peace hold your peace and you will see my salvation you will see my salvation there is a strong disagreement going on somewhere he said but watch i will step into the matter and i will turn it around for your good say it's the lord i will turn it around for your good i hear a name in my spirit and i'll just say it who is peter you don't know any peter you don't have any body around you that is called peter in your side no there's nobody you are doing anything with that bears peter not okay so please hold his name in your heart hmm? just keep that name in your heart whatever it is it will open up but i hear that name strongly and the holy ghost is saying i should mention it that's why i mention it so keep that name whatever that name represent in the days to come it will be very clear to you all right in the days to come it will be very clear but in this season The Lord God will bless you with, with new mentors. He will bless you with new mentors. And in that day, what you hear from this altar will begin to characterize your day-to-day -day living. A God, the Lord will plant a man in your life in the days to come. Either with this name or bearing the similitude of this name. But I know that there is a man close to you around you. Already as I speak. Whose name is that Peter? Either first name or second name. Because the Lord opened my eyes and I saw a man standing beside you. And he said, there are men who are meant to hold his hand into that face. And that is why I bring you that name. There is a man that will hold you by the hand in the days to come. Not too far from today. You will enter some streams of favor between now and September. There will be fresh streams of favor that God will open unto you. And I hear the Lord say, I will require humility from you. That you will be humble. You will be humble because what I see Jesus doing is mighty. He said, I will require humility from you. I will bring men that will bear you by the hands. Just the way they bore the hands of Moses. And he was able to stand with the rod of God in his hand. There is a rod in your hand, but you will need Aaron and all. And one of your Aaron is Peter. A Peter will appear and he will strengthen you. They will lead you by the park and they will bring you to the place that I have spoken about. It's your season. I'm changing the garments around you. I'm taking the garment of warfare off you and I'm bringing in the garment of establishment, says the Spirit of God. I will establish and I will give you favor. I will open doors. I will open seasons. I will open doors and I will open seasons in this season, says the Lord. Grace to you. There will be no challenge on your health. Nothing will consume you. Nothing will consume you. It's the fear of God that you will walk with. And I ask that the deposit of the anointing to pray rest on you from today. You will find strength. Oh my God. You will find strength. The gift of utterance. Utterance. The eyes that see and the ear that opens in the name of Jesus. From today, grace as you stand in your room to pray like you have never Ooh, receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Grace to you. Grace and apostleship in the precious name of Jesus. You are blessed. Watch this guy. I don't know him, but watch him. The Lord is helping a lady from warfare. 
in this warfare that I see is the warfare of the mind. The enemy has been eating deep into your mind, but God will deliver you from it completely. Okay, the Holy Ghost just corrected me. I didn't say I will deliver her. I have just delivered her. You have just been delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. You have just been delivered in the precious name of Jesus. As you live here, you live here with fresh testimonies and fresh grace over your life. In Jesus' name. Let me tell your neighbor, God is helping you. Jesus is sending you help. So, so you know while we're singing, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw your facility. I saw your building. And the Lord said, tell Apostle Odame, I will build for him. So my building for him is, I have transported help into his spirit. That was when I said, I want to go prophetic. So you will build without stress. Because the Lord has sent help. Amen. Amen. The Lord has what? Sent what? He has sent help. The, the Lord has sent help. The Lord has sent help. You will see, you will see, you will see, you are about to see the torrent of God's blessing like you've never experienced as a ministry. You are about to see literally people waking out of dreams to call you. I just had a dream that I should support this. Write what I'm saying down. I just had a dream that I should support this work. The Lord just came to me in the dream, lashed me, I refused. He kept lashing me until I called. Now, this is not motivation. That's because of what I saw. All right? In the days of his power, my people shall be willing. A willing heart in the kingdom is answerable to power. A willing heart in the kingdom is because he saw power. When God bends the wheel and God cracks the mind and God takes away all the, all the security and then you decide to plunge in, then you will see that what you are doing is by God. It's not like you are hypnotized. It's not like somebody is manipulating you. It's just a season that God says in his heart he's going to pour you out a blessing. Um, young lady, I'll be a young woman on gray, please come. Uh, why? If I call you guys, you will just turn. Are you not wearing gray? Is that yellow? Okay. Okay, that's yellow. Are you married? Are you ready? Okay. I proclaim you by the word of the Lord. This is another wedding that is about to happen. I'm every form of resistance around you and heartbreaks are ending. God is touching you. And there is a plan for God. I don't know if you live in Ghana or you are here in Ghana. But you see, if you are here in Ghana, then there is a relocation in the spirit for God, for your life. God is taking you out of this city. He's taking you somewhere else. But there is a reason why you are still around. God is looking for a deeper communication with you, communion with your life. Because there's a call of God over you. There's a ministry assignment, even though you have shelved it aside. But there's a ministerial assignment in your life. Um, the man that is going to marry you will be a pastor. He will be a minister of the gospel. And God wants you to begin to look into your life. Now, don't judge yourself. I don't know you all. So don't judge yourself. Don't say, I'm not qualified. In fact, he disqualified the qualified to qualify the disqualified. Did you get my phrase? Yeah. So Jesus is going to use you. Um, I, I see God using you as an entrepreneur. Mighty gift for business is in your heart. But that thing is not finding expression yet because there has been a little bit of distraction. There's the fear of the unknown. How do I go about this thing? So you, you, you are supposed to be a woman that has double sword. A sort of ministry and a sort of entrepreneurship. And in the entrepreneurship, God will, you may suffer losses. And in your suffering losses doesn't mean that God never spoke. The suffering of the losses is because God wants to use it to train you. David said, bless be God who has taught my hands to war, my fingers to fight. So if you don't go through fight, if you don't go through losses in your journey as an entrepreneur, then you are not learning 
So God wants you to, to open up your heart and to follow him. Because there are two things around your life. Number one, there is the business side, which is the 21st century language of entrepreneurs. And there is the ministry side. And God, the way I see you in the spirit, you are not meant to work. You are meant to be an employer of labor. You are supposed to give people jobs. Because the favor of God is on you so strong. So strong that anything you touch will, be, will, will, will become gold or diamond. So you have the Midas touch. You have the Midas touch. There is an anointing on you that is not finding expression because of this distraction. And the moment you yield and you say to the Lord, I am ready and I am willing. I see, uh, I see that anointing breaking out on you. And the moment that anointing begins to break out, it will break into different fountain heads. Because I see you owning different businesses, different chains of businesses. And God is using you to raise people. You are not one to seek for jobs. You are one to give jobs. Stop looking down on who you are. Begin to look into who God said you are. And pursue destiny because today, today, that life has come. Your husband, either a pastor you will meet or a man that you will marry and someday will tell you that, hey, sweetheart, I want to go into my calling. And you will not fight it because you will know that God has called him. That is if the one coming is not a pastor, he will end up a pastor. And the reason was because I saw you traveling, holding a Bible in your hands before I started talking. And the Lord said, she is a pastor's wife and she's also anointed and she's also a business person. So this is the day of inauguration, the day of calling you into who you are. And listen, as you begin to accept this journey, your appetites are about to change. There are certain things that you will no longer want to do. Even though you want to do them, the Holy Ghost will begin to come into the privacy of your heart and he will begin to tell you, do you want me to train you or not? Do you want to be like an Esther? Or who do you want to look like? You know, when every other lady was wearing an attire, they wanted Esther stepped back and she was waiting for the eunuch to dress her up. And the eunuch dressed her up such that when she met with the king, the king was activated because the eunuch is the only person in that, in that gathering that knows the dress code that the king will like. Every other lady came. There were all kinds of attires, assortment of clothes, dressings and all of that. But when she came, she responded to the eunuch, a symbol and a type of the Holy Ghost. She responded and allowed the Holy Ghost to dress her up. And when she entered, the king extended his hand. That's what I see Jesus doing with you. That God is going to derope you and then God is going to equip you again. It's a season where God will make demands on you. It's a season where the Holy Spirit will speak and he will insist. And that's why he's taking his time to expand to you his mind and his counsel. Because the days are coming where men will look at you. And you, not because you are a terrible person. But they will see physical changes in your utterance. They will see things around you pivoted by God. It is to this end that the Holy Spirit calls you out. And he said he has called you. And he said the days of settlement are close by. They are very close. They are very close. The days for you to settle is very very close it will be clear that you met with a servant of the lord not with a prophet but with a servant of the lord may the lord keep you if it's possible let her cut this video and listen to it over and over i've said so many things here that she can't understand until they begin to break open gold and silver have i not but the grace that has kept me let it come upon you. Now, the prophetic grace. The prophetic grace. The prophetic grace. It will flow through your vessel. You will prophesy to nations. Leave her alone. You will travel to nations. The nation where God has called you to, it will begin to open. That direction will come. You have no gold, you have no silver, but that nation will open. Your marital life, I call... As one that has received mercy from the Lord, you will not miss it there. No more heartbreak. It ceases from today. The right man, one man alone will walk through your doors and you shall be taken. Grace to you forever. Ooh. Unfortunately, I sense I might not be able to preach. Let me hold the hand of your neighbor and tell him, be fruitful in this season. 
Now let the grace for you to be fruitful come upon you. Oh my God. Let the grace to be fruitful come upon you. Capacity to be fruitful. Let it, let it rest on you. Let it rest on you. Let it rest on you. From this day forward, let doors be open to you. We announce a new season. The season of God's help. Oh my God. We announce a new season. Not another season, but a new season. The season of God's help. In the name of Jesus. I see, I see about three people here who lost their jobs. Um, no, no. When I say three people, so let me, let me quickly say this. I have one of my friends in the congregation who, who I know lost his job. But I know the story since last year. So, um, when I give word of knowledge like this, I quickly pause if I know a case. I am not talking about him. Maybe his part, he can, what I say unto all, I say, what, what I say unto one, I say unto what? All. All right? Um, so, he can, the Lord can speak a word. He say, once have you spoken and twice have I heard that all power belongs to you. All right? But there are two, three persons in the congregation who lost their jobs and who are very desperate right now because you have bills mounting up. The Lord is going to intervene. I can't hear your amen. Amen. You know, it was Papa that sang a song. Amen, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. The word amen is not, is not a cliche. It's not for me to feel more anointed. The word amen is you are coming into agreement with what is being said. That so shall it be. So I tell my people, when, once, once you meet a minister of the gospel, there is a carrier of God's presence and you can, you can testify that he's a man of integrity, he's a genuine man. When he speaks, shout amen louder. That's how I teach my people. I say shout it. They may say you are distracting them. Blind Bartimaeus prayed. He heard that the master was passing by and he shouted, Son of David, have mercy. They told him to keep quiet. The Bible said he shouted yet the more. That shout commanded the attention of Jesus and Jesus stopped and said, what do you want? He said, that I might have my sight because sight is everything. Sight is what? Sight is the breathing ground for vision. Sight. Many people can see but they are blind. And many people are blind, but they can see. You know why? Because there is, there is, the Lord has done a work in their heart. The Lord has, has, has crafted his dreams and his desires upon the, the, the tablets of their heart. So when they move from location to location, though blind, they can tell you that we've got into a place now. They are blind. And you wonder, how did you know this juncture? They knew it by the gift of the Spirit. They knew because they have walked with the Lord. They have depended on God to draw maps in their heart. They have depended on God to release his grace upon them. So even they can't see in the physical, in the spirit, their eyes are rightly animated. So I, 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 I want to say to you that this season is the season where you will receive help from the Lord. Amen. You will receive help from the Lord. You, you as a people, you will receive help from the Lord. Amen. The Lord will build for you. Amen. You will hold your peace. Amen. He will build for you. You, you know, you know, you know, when God is saying he wants to help you, you better believe it. When I was going to come into full-time ministry, I, I said in my head, there are some of my friends, they will give me money every month. There is a possibility for you to have pictures of people that we build. And then God will shock you that the people that we build, you have not even met with them yet. You have not even met with them. I, I don't know why God is zeroing on building for my heart for this place now. That means you are in the season. And if you don't move, it is your fault. We move, we move. Yes, we move. We move, we move. Yes, we move. 
by the grace of the Lord we move forward by the grace of the Lord we move forward by the strength of the Lord we move we move yes we move We move, we move, yes, we move, by the grace of the Lord, by the grace of the Lord, you will move by the grace of the Lord, <laughs> you will move by the strength of the Lord. You will move by the hand of the Lord. Amen. You will move by the help of the Lord. Amen. I said you will move. Amen. And you are moving by his grace. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. When you move to sight, the moment you start that project, it will not stop till the end. Amen. Not one day, not, not one day by the word of the Lord, not one day. You will not stop until you finish. Because the mouth of the Lord has declared it. The zeal of the Lord will perform it. In the name of Jesus Christ. So all of you that are under this cloud, I bring you into that layer and baptism. The baptism of God's help. The baptism of God's help. The Lord God will help me, therefore shall I not be ashamed. He will set my face like a flint. The Lord will help you. Amen. Jesus will help you. Amen. You will not lack his help. Amen. Deposit of his favor in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord God Almighty will help you. Amen. You will not be stranded. Amen. You will not beg Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. God will compel men to rise for your sake. Amen. God will compel men to rise for your sake. Every aspect of your life that is barren, now I speak fruitfulness to it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every aspect of your life that seems to be noisy now, I quiet in that aspect. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the favor of God come upon you. Let the hand of God come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Men that you know not, they will rise and they will build your walls. They will rise and they will build your wall in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Call that young lady for me. Is he, is he young lady? I'll be a young woman. You are married, right? Okay, come. Come and receive a crown. Raise your hands up. Lord, you showed me an anointing coming on her. Oh, Jesus. The crown of beauty. Aye, the crown of beauty. The crown of beauty. Is it coming or it's not over yet? Leave just is a crown of beauty. Is a crown of beauty. It's a crown of beauty. Aye, it's a crown of beauty. Cover up, please. Ah, it's a crown of beauty. No, her top. Yes, good. The crown of beauty. The crown of beauty. Jesus, is a crown of beauty. That lady on yellow at the back on glasses. Come here quickly. Run quickly. Run, 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 run. I see a deliverance, a family deliverance. Oh, a family deliverance. It's not even about you, it's about your family. I see a family deliverance. One, two, three, go! Take it! A family deliverance. A family, it's a violent one. A family deliverance at the Holy Ghost. Just, yes, just, 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 just stay with her. It's a family deliverance. I, I saw, I saw, I saw God taking away spells, spells. Spells be gone, be gone, be gone. For your sake, be gone. For your sake, they are gone, they are gone. Spells are gone. Spells are gone. Oh my God, spells are gone. Hey, somebody shout Jesus in this building. Spells are gone, spells are gone. Spells are gone. Somebody shout Jesus again. This one is a family deliverance. The Lord is rescuing this entire family. Hey, spells are gone, spells are gone. Somebody say, spells are gone. Somebody says spells are gone. Somebody says spells are gone. 
Spells are gone. In the name of Jesus. You see, there's, there's Kai. Let's pray in the Holy Ghost. Let's, let's pray in the Spirit for a bit. sitting at the back on that chair at the back where you want but all right oh you are even ready oh my god holy ghost colors 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 of beauty colors of release for you are like Joseph. You are like Joseph. And the garment of many colors. You may not look like it now, but you had that garment of many colors. Now begin to enter into those shades. Let it be clear that the God of Jeshurun has encountered you. One step, two step, three step. Begin to mount up begin to find help in most difficult moments no more rejection the seasons of rejections are over just the way the life of Joseph was characterized and explained and so also will the Lord begin to explain you he will begin to unveil you to your family you will be a wise woman wise woman wise woman Wise woman. Wise woman. I didn't say wise lady. I said wise woman. You will come into a womanhood on time. God will give you wisdom. He 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 will give you wisdom. You have dwelt on a mountain for too long. It is time to rise. You have, you have surrounded the mountain for too long. I will say that public only once. I will say the other things in the public, in the private. But you have surrounded them. There is an anointing waiting for you for the past seven months that the Holy Ghost wants you to enter. 
And every time you stretch your hand, it's as though the, the thing goes up. And the Lord said, are you, really, are you really, really ready for the next phase? You have dwelt around this mountain for too long. There is a call on your heart and you know what I'm talking about. There is a call to come up. God wants you up. God wants you up. The finger of God is on you. He will not change his mind. His hand is on you. He ain't going to change his mind. He wants you to come up. So you have, you have been here for too long. This mountain that you have been surrounded, you have been going around it for too long. He wants you up. He wants you up. Jesus wants you up. There is a demand on your soul to come up. He wants you up. He wants you up. He wants you up. And the Holy Ghost says, you know what I'm talking about. He wants you up. You have dwelt for too long on this mountain. You've been here for too long. Grace to you. Wisdom to you. God's wisdom to you. Navigate the water graciously. Let his rain begin to fall on you again. Rain. He said, you have dwelt too long on this mountain. And the mountain is looking dry. But let rain of refreshing come. Let rain of refreshing come upon your soul. Jesus is peace. The peace that money cannot buy. Peace. A spring of his peace from your vessel, from your within. Peace. 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 To enter into long projects. Peace. 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 You will not be cut off. 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 God will bring peace to you. Peace. The Holy Ghost will bring peace to you. He will bring peace to you. He will bring peace. 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 In the next five minutes, I want some of you to receive something from the Lord. Can you rise up on your feet? If you are a choir, forget about ushering. I said choir. If you are into ushering, forget about it. Yes, there's, there's somebody. Ooh. My desire is to know you, Lord. My desire.
No more delays. Come on! Break and set her free. song for me a little bit. I, I, I need to deal with your case. Apostle, I'm sorry. I, I know I'm supposed to teach, but I couldn't teach. Um, I'll do that tomorrow. There is somebody here, and you see, since I've not called anybody out, because God has not asked me to, but this one is said I should deal with the matter. It's very, and what I see is a family, is a cycle that we want to break. It's very difficult for people to go to school in your family. They just keep dropping out, and you are one of them. Please come quickly. I'm praying for somebody there. The Lord, the, the Lord intercepted me and said, call this case and deal with it now. Just the way there was a family deliverance over, over that lady at the back. Where is that lady I spoke to? Listen, there is, you don't know what has happened though. You, you, you don't know what just happened to you today. There is, there is a, there is, you will see a shift in your family. You begin to see changes. All right. And, and, and I want to give you a gift. I have one little gift I want to give you. I want to ask the Holy Ghost to give to you. Meanwhile, who is this person? It's difficult for people to go to school in your, in your generation. Come out quickly. It's very difficult. Even you, you are finding it hard. This. You see, young lady, I want God to anoint you. Are you baptized with evidence of speaking in tongues? Oh, that's good. Um, that lady on the ground, just leave her there. That she's in a clinic. There's deliverance. Rosby. Rosby. God is going to help you. Don't change. God is going to, God is going to make you a mighty man. He's going to make you a mighty man. Your, your seasons will open between July and August. There will be an opening between July and August. Your season will open. And in this season that opens, God is going to pedestal you on a very good ground where I, I see you, I see you, I see you touring. I don't know the meaning of the tours yet, but it's not for, it's not for enjoyment, it's for assignment. So God is about to open you up to a fresh season between July and August. And he said, I should tell you to study deep now, study deep, study deep. Dig your wells in scripture not just in prayers. Dig your wells in the Bible. Dig your wells in the Bible. Dig your wells in the Bible. I pray that as the Lord bring you to the place of greatness, you will not fall into temptations. Mm. Mm. You, I saw, as I'm praying for you, I saw three fine ladies around you. Three. Very fine. This is not about your marriage. This is about distraction. That in the day of greatness, your highest temptation will be women. I've always said this in private, but God wanted me to say it here. I wanted to tell you. You see, by the grace of God, I can keep things and say them when I should say them. But he said, as you dig into him and you look unto him, he will keep you. He said, I should tell you, there are two things he's going to do with your life. You are going to finance the gospel. And you are going to be very wealthy. And he said, this year you will taste it. He said, you will taste it this year. You know, I know, I know how things are now. He said, but you will taste what, I'm, what he's telling you. He said, you will have a foretaste of it this year. And God is going to give you the, the gift of access. You see, you are one man that if you say, I want to meet you the president of the United States, the Lord will give you the technical know-how to do it. He will give you the gift of access. It's already on you. Anytime he needs it, he will trigger it. 
He said, but be weary of women. Hi. Can you help me stretch your hand? I, 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 want to, I, want to, I want you to see. I want us to agree. Now I know why God asked me to do. I want us to agree that this one, this one will never fall to the trap of a damsel. Any trap of a woman. Because he's a mighty seed. I see him sponsoring crusades at will. When I saw him humping, I saw him flying in private jets. So I, I know God is going to make something mighty out of it. It may look late, but he will have a foretaste of it this year. So I want us to pray that the only strategy of Satan is woman, woman. You will marry right. And women will not distract you. Don't say amen, pray. Me, I'm praying. Pray. Hi. Come here. Just stand. No, stand, stand, stand. I, I, I'm instructing you now. You want to disobey? Rosby, we pray for you as a body. Collectively, we pray for you. You know, you know, Jesus said to Peter. Satan, Satan has desired to have you. But I've prayed for you. That's what we are doing now. We are praying for this young man. Because of what is ahead, we have, we have trapped prayer inside. He will always escape. You know, you know Peter escaped. Judah couldn't escape. Uh -huh. Jesus said it were better that Judas was not born. But for Peter, he prayed for him. Uh, he, he prayed for him. So this one, we are praying for him. Any woman that comes, she will dry up. You don't understand. <laughs> she will dry up. This guy, write what I'm saying down. This guy will be the pride of Ghana in the days to come. He will be one of the pride of Ghana. In the next decade, 10 years from today, except if I'm not called by the Lord. He will have a foretaste of what I'm talking about. Real estates, traveling investments, my God, creative ingenuity, you are about to come into it. There are product lines that will come out of you, brother. You will be billing for millions of dollars. They will come out of your loins. There is grace that is finding expression here. And every desire that is not of God, I command it to begin to dry up so that the fear of God can come on you afresh. Afresh. Grace to you. An apostleship. Hide me. Hide me your secret place. Hide me, hide me. Hide me. Hide me. Keep me, keep me. Keep me. Keep me in your secret. My desire. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will watch over you. Or pray to beyond the manipulations of men. Beyond the manipulations of women. Peace. Go and prosper. bless you. Bro, raise your hands up. There's an anointing you have desired to carry for a long time. I don't know what anointing it is. But I see, uh, uh, what did they do? Go to your seat. I see, I see that anointing coming on you. Leave him, leave him, leave him. I see that anointing coming on you. A long desire. And Jesus said it will begin to flow out of you as you take the step of faith. He said, take the step of faith because I have released it. Take it in the name of Jesus. It comes on you. Take it. Take it. In the next three weeks, you'll begin to have some very strange but supernatural encounters. You'll begin to have encounters. In your meditation, light will break out. The gift of visions will begin to find expression. The gift of visions we break open 
it will break open. It will break open. That gift that you long desire, it opens. It opens. It opens. There are five people that I said I want God to give something to. Five. But let us pray. We want to break the curse here. This is the curse of wizardry. The curse of wizardry. We want to, we want to curse every wizard operation. Every foot that is on their matter. We want to cut it off. Do you understand it? We are cutting off every footage of the enemy. Every stamp of Satan. That nobody goes to school in this family. No, everybody is a dropout. They struggle for everything. It's a molestation of the enemy. It's an harassment and embarrassment of Satan. But that today, we as the people of God, we change it. Can you stretch your hands now and pray? Oh my God. This kind of thing, it, it goes by a corporate anointing. Your family we release your family we bring deliverance go and finish go and finish be a finisher be a finisher from today be a finisher start a thing don't stop abruptly finish in the name of Jesus finish you will go to school you will graduate no more delays grace grace to you. grace grace lord give this lady the grace to be a prayer mantis Release on her an anointing to pray like never before. Let her find strength on her knees. Ooh. Let her find strength on her knees. As she begins to pray, Lord, let her see answers. As she stands with you and she kneels as she works, as she raises her hand, let her find power with you. And let her experience answers to her prayers. Father, bring an impartation of that grace. The spirit of grace and supplication. Now let it come upon her. Now let it come. Now let it come. Let it come. Yes. Yes. Let it come. Let it come. I lay my hand for an impartation. Father. Fuse her body up. Fuse her body up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. 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 Now you can begin to speak in the Holy Ghost. Violently comes on her. Violently come on her. Raise. Open her tongues. Oh God. Let. 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 New capacity. New strength. New stream. New stream, new stream, new stream. Yes, new stream, new stream, new stream, new stream. Hey, new stream, new stream. Let the warrior anointing, the warrior anointing, let it rest. New stream, new stream. That by posture she takes, oh God. Yes, yes. Quickly, my time is up. I need to go to a meeting. Raise your hands.
Wherever you are, Lord, there are five people you said you want to anoint afresh. Oh, my God. I just saw something left your body. I don't know what it is. But I bring deliverance to you. I bring deliverance. You will escape. Just remember today, you will escape something. In the physical, there is something that will be triggered, but you will escape it. Let that anointing be confirmed. You will escape it in Jesus' name. Raise your hands. Gift you. Your ministry is about to go nationwide again. Jesus said the season for you to, to step out is now. He said he will give you the signs. He said your call is beyond the RCN coverage. He said he wants you to be very intentional. Don't shut down your singing calling anymore. He said what I've said to you in the private, I say in the public. So that everyone will hear and they will know. I see you having a very strong ministry. And now you're about to start the Davidic sound. There are sounds that will come out of your bowels. They will come and they will travel. He said, I will use you nationwide again. I will open you up to new sounds. As a season, it's a season. You have waited for it for long. You have waited for it for long. But there is a pact. And now I'm ushering you formally into your calling for the body. Here nationwide. And as your faithfulness is complete, I will come again the way I have come today. But I open seasons over you. My help is coming. My help. I am God and I am kind towards you. I have called you. I am anointing you more than David. There's a Davidic grace that comes upon you. Fresh anointing. I will travel through your voice. I will heal. I will empower. I will open barren wombs. I will open barren wombs. As you stand to minister, I will open barren wombs. I will bring you to the mainstream. I will bring you to the mainstream. The seasons of hiding are over. The seasons of hiding are over. I am releasing you. I am sending you forth to represent me. Speak and I will answer. Open your mouth and I will feel it. I see God giving you songs in scriptures. I see God giving you songs with scriptures. As you read, they will become melodies in your spirit. You will sing like a national anthem. I see God releasing songs from scriptures. In other words, as you study this day, as you make your study a priority, he will turn your study into sound. He will turn your study into sound. Peace and grace. A season is upon you. Oh my God, a season. The season is upon you. The season is upon you. God will use you to shape and to train upcoming singers in this, in this region. You will sing and you will train. You will sing and you will train. You will patiently do so. You will patiently do so. Oh, you will patiently do so. The anointing of the minstrel. I call for the anointing of the minstrel. I call it forth. The anointing of the minstrel. I call it. 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 So one anointing God remaining for. Raise your hands. Receive that anointing right now. If you desire fresh grace, it comes upon you fresh. There are about four of you. I will ask that the Holy Ghost will touch you now. One. Two. 
three, four. Holy Ghost, touch them. It's on you. It's on you now. Holy Ghost, touch them. Jesus. It's, it's, on, it's on you. I already see the four of you. It's on 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 you. That brother that is holding that brother, it's on you too. You were distracted. It's on you. It's on you. It's on you. It's on you. Just receive that stream. Receive that stream. Oh my God. Receive fresh grace, brother. I can't resist this anymore. I must lay my hands on you. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive, receive grace. Grace upon you. Grace. Grace in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Emmanuel, all the world is calling your name. 